Welcome to Disturbingly Cheap Reviews. This week we discover what would happen if Stephen King's Christine was similar to John Carpenter's The Thing with the imaginative horror film Super Hybrid. It's an inspired film with the plot of a shape-shifting creature that only takes the form of different types of cars. After wiping out the opening fodder that these movies always have, it goes through a red light and gets blasted in an accident. Therefore, it's taken to a local repair shop ran by hunting enthusiast boss Odid Fair. After he locks up for them to work for the night, the car begins stalking the workers. And after discovering it, they must try to survive while wondering what it is and just how to kill it. And you may not believe it, but this review is one of the harder ones I've done. Because as the ending credits ran, I realized that even with the unique story that had been laid out, I had no real feelings in either direction towards this movie. It sets up a plot, it forces in its own special logic, it has moments meant to be comedic, moments meant to be scary, but I didn't love it, and I didn't hate it, I just watched it. And then I wondered if I should watch something else. It's like getting a dinner and realizing that a new medication you take numbs your taste buds. You eat the meal, so you should know if it was good or not, but you just don't. In all honesty, that may be the worst thing I've ever had to say about a movie. It isn't good. It isn't bad. It isn't memorable. There are unique things presented. There is half-decent CGI. There are some okay plot twists. But I just didn't care in any way, shape, or form. So I'm left trying to figure out how to grade this thing, and I've decided I'm going to go with a C. A straight-up C. No minus, no plus. It could be good. It could be bad. I can't recommend it, but I can't say it should be avoided. It's solely a movie that exists, and nothing more. Now for the sake of a joke, let's pop the clutch and drift into spoilers. So it's a shape-shifting car that shifts into new cars. They realize it quick enough after it kills the stoner character, and they decide to either capture or kill it. Of course, the majority of the fodder gets wiped out. The ditzy secretary at one point throws a Molotov cocktail at the car, but it bounces back, catches her on fire, and causes her to fall down an elevator shaft. That sounds like it should be funny or something, right? I got nothing from that. So when it's only the main girl and the boss, they set up a pit trap, having metal spikes at the bottom of the elevator shaft. The main girl, though, doesn't see the car coming and almost gets ran over. It holds on to her, and they both fall to the bottom. Now the car lands on the metal spikes, and she just lands on the car, so she's perfectly fine because that's how gravity works. The girl then shoots another car and causes it to explode and fall on top of the shapeshifter, which finishes ramming it down onto the steel, killing it. The main girl's boyfriend shows up for no good reason other than to have her dump him triumphantly. So the boss goes to call the local news to report this freakishly unique shapeshifter, but then three or so more evil cars rev their engines to show us that he's doomed. The end. I don't have an opinion on this movie. I really don't. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, maybe it would have worked better if they combined Stephen King's Christine and Highlander. I literally have nothing.